with the opening of the Elizabeth Line, we wanted to draw attention to the funding on London Underground where millions have been spent on this beautiful line and at the same time London Underground plan to put 600 stations jobs. So the people that you see every day in and out of the station on your commute are simply not going to be there. Heathrow, for instance, are losing 25 staff. And what that means is visitors to London, their first, first taste of London, where they don't know anything about ticketing, they don't know anything about Oyster cards, they need directions, they need support. The staff are not going to be there to help them. The Mayor signed up to a statement about funding public transport for a greener planet, but at the same time, his office is in charge of a whole program of cuts, which will see these job losses, and it will also see our members' terms and agreements change drastically so that they're not going to be able to plan their lives. It means more extreme shifts, starting at four in the morning, finishing at one in the morning for our staff, and what it also means for customers is the drive on women's safety that TfL claims to be committed to and the Mayor's Office claims to be committed to means nothing when it means that women commuters and women travellers are going to be leaving their trains, going through empty stations. So if you're in a situation where you might need help, the members of staff are not going to be there on hand to give you that assistance that you need. So this is the wrong thing for the staff, it's the wrong thing, thing for the customers and it's the wrong thing for London. We've got a strike on Monday the 6th. That is a strike of station staff this time. They're on quite low pay. Part of that was due to reorganisation seven years ago where people were taken on for £8,000 a year less than the going rate at that time. Now those same people on those lower wages are going to have to work these extreme shifts, they're going to be doing the work of two or three people and it's not acceptable.